Hey, five fans, I hope you're enjoying the off season. It's, what a season it has been. Brandon Scott, the head coach and GM of the Sudbury Five. Logan, tell me, what's been keeping you busy nowadays that there's no games? You know, at, at first, it, when it comes to a halt, it, it's tough. You know, you sit back, you reflect. I didn't sleep much, just not because I was disappointed. It's just because there wasn't much left to do. I mean, you have your exit meetings, you get the guys home, and you kind of just sit back and reflect. And... Um, I, it's almost a good stress and a bad stress at the same time, but things have calmed down a little bit more since then. Now, Logan, tell me, let's reflect back on the regular season. Uh, we came out firing. Uh, we started off 7-3. and three, Then the Jets kind of cooled. Uh, we slumped a bit the next 11 games, but then we pulled through at the end uh, to get into playoffs and an yep. over 500 record. Uh, tell me, uh, when you're thinking back to that roller coaster, uh, what's your thoughts? You know, it was definitely a roller coaster. It was fun. I mean, I enjoyed every, every bit of it. And... Uh, the start out of the gates was awesome. Uh, we came out, we wanted to prove a point, and then when teams started adjusting to us, we, we, we did hit a little bit of a skid and we, we had to pull ourselves out. And we, 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 once we pulled ourselves out, we were good to go and it was, it was uh, you know, good for the team again. But every team goes through their ups and their downs. It was just awesome to see the guys pull themselves out and then we get back on track, make the playoffs and make a, make a good run in there. Now it's no secret that this is the first year for the five. Uh, did you have any expectations about the Sudbury crowd, whether or not they would yeah. embrace the five? Or what's your thoughts on hearing them? You know, it's, you never know when you come to a new community how it's going to be supported or embraced. But ultimately, you know what? They're awesome. I mean, almost kind of speechless to think like, man, we, we put this on for the city and they loved it and they embraced it and they kept coming back and they were loud. And it just, uh, it was exciting. Like it was exciting to see them buy in and just, just enjoy the ride. Now, one player that got the crowd going a lot of, so this past season was Braylon Rayson. Yeah. He, he was the MVP of the league. Uh, what makes him so special? You know, his, his confidence. Uh, you know, he, when he walks in the court, he believes he's the best player every time, which is awesome. You know, he goes out there, he, he makes those shots, he puts up some highlights, and he puts up some numbers. And having him come here and play loose and play free was awesome to see because, you know, I've, I've watched him obviously last year and I knew about him in college and stuff like that. But to see him come here and have his best year of his career, is, it's something special. Now, is this something we could expect every year, having a player have a season like that? Or like, how rare is to have a guy like Rayson perform as well as he did? He's definitely a special player. Can I guarantee a Braylon Rayson every year? I can't guarantee that. But, you know, it could be. We, we could. So you got to see what happens and, and see who we get. But, yeah, Braylon had a special year. I don't, I don't know if uh, the league will see another player, you know, have a year like that. We're, we're inaugural season, come out 25, 5, and 5, and get the MVP at his age. And... and, and it was definitely special. Yeah, I hope to get more brethren racing, so we'll see. Yeah, and it's not just him, too. Uh, who are some of the other guys that really stuck out in your mind this past season that uh, exceeded expectations? I, I could go down the list. I mean, quite honestly, I could go down the list from everybody and, and talk about everything they did all year, whether it was in practice or in the community or, you know, in, in games. And they all had their moments, which is, which is awesome. Uh, specifically, some that come to mind, you know, Jalen is a special player, too. Uh, just the way he shoots the ball, it's... Uh, it was a pleasure coaching him, and it was awesome to see somebody do what he did as well. So um, let me think a couple more that come to mind. Corey had a great year, had a great year. Started a little bit slow, but once we found his rhythm, once we found his groove, he had a great year. I mean, even look at guys like Dexter and Johanny. Um, I mean, they, they came here with, you know, they had smaller roles where they've been, and they grew into bigger roles, and they started for us. So to so see them grow into a starting role by the end of the year was awesome. Um, and then even you look at other players that we have, you know, George and, and Joey, who were locals, who quite honestly surprised me quite a bit. And uh, guys, I would love to have back and give them a bigger role because when I came in, I, you know, didn't know how they were going to do. And when they exceeded my expectations, it's like, okay, great. Now I know something I can work with in the future, guys that are local that can play at this level. Um, and then we had Mo Jones, midseason uh, acquire, came in and just, just odd the crowd and did what he does so I mean like I said I could go down the list I could talk about everybody that we had it's just it was special now tell me after the regular season we weren't done just there uh, the first round of playoffs we were against the St. John's Edge we ended up losing uh, the best of five in that fifth game uh, how heartbreaking was that for you it was tough uh, you know the guys gave me everything they had uh, looking back I, I shoulder a lot of it being a first year coach seeing you know playoffs are much different in the regular season you want to make some adjustments you almost got to make them a little bit sooner you got to try them a little a little bit sooner and go for it because in the, in the regular season if you try them and you lose you got a next game you got a next game you got games to correct in playoffs you have very limited time to correct things and I mean I'm just proud of the guys man they gave me everything they got they did everything I asked uh, ultimately I think the travel caught up to our legs 
Um, we had a chance to close them out in game four. That's probably the one I, I would like to have back. But at the end of the day, man, I'm proud, proud of what we did. Now, how much of that carries over into the next season? You know, the momentum's got to carry over. The momentum and the hunger. Like, knowing what I know now with a year under my belt, knowing, you know, what the kind of players go through here in Sudbury, what they go through with learning my style and the way I want to play, um, it's growth and it's hunger is probably the best, best way to look at it because I, I know what I want to accomplish next year. Uh, I got an idea of what I got to go out and get to do it. And then, uh, like I said, personal growth too. I know what I need to do to get better. Now, what are some of these expectations you have for next season? You know, we're going to be better. You got to set the next step, the standard, the bar a little bit higher. I mean, coming in this year, everybody's expectations for us was very low, but I had expectations that we met. Uh, we wanted to make the playoffs. Um, we wanted to have a winning record. We wanted to finish the regular season top half of the league. Those are all things that we accomplished. And with the support of the, the organization and the community, ultimately it allowed us to do that. So now we get with the organization, we get with the players that are you know, hopefully coming back. And we say, okay, what are our next steps? What are our new goals? I mean, once again, winning season, playoffs. But I mean, I want to you know, finish first or second. I want to get into the semifinals. That's the next step and see where it goes from there. Uh, now you talk about how uh, you're looking for that next step. Uh, how do you do that next step this offseason? Like, well, what do you do now? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, obviously stay in touch with the guys. Go find some new guys. Find the pieces I need. Find a little bit more depth, a little bit more, more hunger in certain areas. Um, and then, you know, looking back at practice plans, you know, weekly structures. How can we be better, almost a little bit better in everything we do? I'm going to meet with some coaches in the offseason that are Division One coaches, G League coaches, and possibly even some NBA coaches to uh, help better my craft and, and ultimately put my team in the best situation to be successful next year. Is next season going to be like a fresh start, or do you feel like there's a bit of foundation now? I think there's a bit of foundation. I mean, even if you look from the fan base, I mean, the fan base, the foundation is there. We know we're going to have fans. We know we're going to have a crowd. That's easy to recruit to, and I can say, man, the crowd's awesome. The community's awesome. Um, we'll bring some guys back. That'll be some of our foundation for sure. Uh, just, just growing, you know, growing with everything I know now. The foundation is there, so the next steps and the next levels need to be achieved. Now, tell me, uh, for you, on a personal level, how much uh, of a transition was this for you being a coach from a player? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, I don't know, obviously it's my first year coaching. I don't know if anybody knows what they're getting into when they want to be a coach. Uh, as a player, I always said, oh man, I'll find out one day. I'll find out if it's really that hard. It is, it really is that hard, but it's fun and it's rewarding. It's just, uh, it's a lot, of, it's a lot. And then, of course, you also got recognized. You won an award from the league. Uh, tell me, was that a special moment for you? Yeah, obviously. I mean, the executive of the year, is, it's an accomplishment. It's something that's going to be on my resume forever. So to be able to, to do that with the support of, you know, the owners, the uh, front office, and uh, even the players and the fans, like everybody was contributing to that award, not just me. I was allowed to go do what I said I would do. And then ultimately the reward's just a little recognition that's special. No, thank you, Logan, for doing this, this show for us. A little yeah. State of the Union on the Sudbury 5. Yeah. We'll look forward to seeing all things Sudbury 5 this summer. You can check out the 5ca or better yet, just follow us on all our social media to stay up to date. Thanks again, Logan, for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Thanks.